Lear's plans to build the $500,000 track were revealed during a noontime news conference. It'll be an exact duplicate of the famed Indianapolis Raceway, home of the Memorial Day 500. The reasons for building the two-and-a-half-mile oval are many. Current United States Auto Club rules for steam vehicles are non-existent. According to Lear, the rules are so nebulous and vague, chances of racing his steam engine are questionable. Lear's track, which is already under construction, will be completed by early March, allowing two months' testing time to prove to USAC that a steam engine racer is not only feasible, but competitive. The track will also be used for testing conventional automobiles, and one of the first experiments will involve steam-driven California Highway Patrol cars. Well, Dwayne, this is the uh, California Patrol uh, mock-up car. Now, we'll deliver this to them sometime in probably the 1st of April. But this is a mock-up of exactly how the inside of the hood will look. This is the radiator. This over here is the auxiliary power plant that runs all the time that the steam is on or you get the switch on. And uh, then this is the engine here, and this is the bar. This is the steam generator. Well, maybe in a quick fashion you can tell us uh, how the engine will function. Well, the engine itself is a six-cylinder engine, and I'd like to take this cover off of this mock-up here to show you the way that it operates. Uh, it's six cylinders, it has three crankshafts, it has 12 pistons, and the pistons go together in this fashion here. So what that does, it allows you to get more horsepower because you can get more expansion because the stroke can be shorter. You get double the expansion be uh, because you've got two pistons working in a single cylinder. And uh, it also gives you the opportunity of getting more horsepower because you can run it faster. The uh, torque on this engine will give you the torque of about a 600 horsepower engine. Power source is this uh, steam generator right here. And if you'll step over, I'll show you what's inside of that thing so you get a better idea. Now this is a partially completed steam generator. This is going to be for the Indianapolis 500. This generator will generate enough heat to heat 200 homes. At the same time, it will de develop about 800 horsepower. How much uh, tubing are we talking about here? How long does it take to make something like that? When this uh, generator is complete, it will have 800 feet of tubing in it and stainless steel. You said something earlier today that I found amazing, that the 800 horsepower turned out by this compares extremely favorably with the old locomotives. Well, uh, this boiler here, as you can see, is about 21 inches in diameter and about 25 inches long, and it puts out 800 horsepower compared with a, uh, a locomotive that put out 1,400 horsepower. And that's quite a lot larger, you'll have to admit. When it was originally announced that Lear planned to build a steam engine race car, there were plenty of doubting Thomases. As you can see, the car itself is already taking shape. The engine you just saw will sit in here alongside the driver, much like the turbine of Andy Granatelli. Lear makes it clear that he's not entering the racing business. However, he does plan to have two of these completed by mid-March, merely to prove the doubting Thomas is wrong. Long-range plans call for billions of dollars of steam units to be built here in Reno within the next five to 10 years. It's Lear's contention that steam-driven automobiles are the cars of the future and he's currently investing $10 million 